Hello, it's Silja, and today I'm coming from the floor, another place in my living room. As you can see, I have shelves everywhere, so yeah. Um, and today it has been snowing a lot here where I live, and I thought I could do the rainy day book tag, because as we all know, snow is just frozen rain. It fits. And I was tagged by Remembered Reads and I will of course leave a channel down below. And the tag was created by that bookie. And I really like to do tags because then I can talk about books that I haven't recently read. And you get to know my reading taste better. So yeah, let's get started. Rain. Pick a book that made you cry. I have three books here that made me cry and the question is actually that makes you cry every time you read it. Um, I have three books that I only read once. No, I have two books that I have only read once and the third book is a book that I'm dipping in and out of. Uh, the first book is A History of Love by Nicole Krauss. And this is a book that I really enjoyed. It's, it is an intertwined story. It has three, three uh, side stories that intertwine. And when I was finishing this book, I just started to cry. It wasn't like a silent cry. It was me just bubbling my eyes out and sobbing. And it was, yeah. And the reason I did that was just because I was so sad that the book was over. I just wanted to remain in the story. The other book is a book that made me cry in Paris, in a cafe. And that's Stoner by John Williams. And this book is sad all over, I think. Uh, it's, it, it's very quietly sad and melancholic and yeah I just felt for this man and his life and all his struggles and yeah. The last book <clears throat> are more like an author and that's Sylvia Plath and this is Ariel and I think about all her poetry basically and it's not that I always starts to cry when reading a po poem by her but it's like she just does something with me it's like she's grabbing inside my chest and is ripping my heart out and she's stomping on it and she's throwing it around and crushing it and doing all the things and then she just puts it back and leaves me like a angsty crying puddle and I love her for that so yeah Puddle. Pick a book where the world is underwater or mostly near water. And I have two books to show you. The first one is a book that I honestly can't say I remember much of. But it's uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and, uh, by Schulern. And I adored this book as a child. And I think I will need to reread it at some point. The other book is The Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway and this is the book that made me realize that it, was, it wasn't just because he was writing about Paris that I enjoyed him but it was his writing style and the stories he was telling. And this book follows Santiago and his quest to catch the biggest fish. And the imagery is so vivid and it's, it was just like I was sitting in the boat with him and hunting down this fish and I remember the feeling I got when the fish for the first time revealed itself when it jumps up and I was, I lost my breath and I got goosebumps, it was just so beautiful. So yeah, it, this is an amazing little book. Rain Boots, pick a book with a damned soul. And I pick, of course, Weathering Heights by Emily Bronte. 
and it's not not just one damn soul here it's two and that's catherine and um Heathcliff. umbrella click a book that was big and comforting this book isn't very big but it was so comforting when i read it it's a norwegian book called havboka by morten Strøksnes. And this book has been sold to like 15 countries, I think now, so it will probably be translated into English. And the French translation will be released this year, I think. So, yeah. This is a non-fiction book. It's about Morten and his friend trying to catch the grey shark uh, outside the coast of Norway. And it's about their journey. But it's also about like the mythology of the sea, the history, a lot of biology and a lot of stories. So it was just a um, really nice read and I had so much fun reading it and I learned so much and yeah, I Rainy was Rainy Day movie. Pick a book that, that was turned into a movie that you can watch on rainy days and I picked Little Women by Louisa May Alcott and I really enjoyed the movie with Winona Ryder and Gabriel Byrne and it's just heartwarming and cozy and sad and just nice coffee. Yeah. Pick a book where, where you couldn't get enough of the hot and steamy romance and to be honest I'm not a big reader of romance but I did once read a series of dark urban fantasy that was quite steamy and that's uh, the Fever series The Fever series by Karen Marie Moaning and yeah it was rather feverish Fun show pick a book with a main character that has an amazing best friend and I picked two books and they're both by L.M. Montgomery we have Anne of Green Gables and Anne's friendship with Diana and Emily of New Moon and her friendship with Ilse. And both friendships has its ups and downs but they're always there for each other when times get rough. So yeah, it's a, I think it's a good and nice portrayal of There's friendship. Pick a book where the world is dirty and grimy. And I have picked two books where the society is really bad and a place you won't be living in because it's just devastating and that's 1984 by George Orwell I can't seem to find the book it's lost somewhere in my shelves and The, Handmaid, the Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood Cuddly Pet pick a book with enjoyable animals and I have picked a Game of Thrones by George R. R. Martin because of the Direwolves. I really like them. And Three Lives of Tomomi Ishikawa because in this book there's an imaginary cat. And this cat is not like the Murakami cats because it can't speak, because it doesn't exist. And yeah, I like that Sweet idea. Treats. Pick a book with the sweetest ending and I don't like sweet endings. Uh, when I read novels I like the endings to be realistic and yeah, open for inter interpretations. Um, when I read short stories I like it to be, I like the endings to take me by surprise, be a little bit devious and maybe have some twists. But I have chosen uh, three short stories with very good and devious endings. The first two are from this collection by Angela Carter. It's The Bloody Chamber and In Companions of Wolves. So yeah. And the short story Old Water by Charlotte Perkins Gilman. That was my tag. Thank you to Remember Reads for tagging me. As usual, I have no idea who has done the tag, but I will tag someone anyway. I tag Autumn from Fall Into Books and Tanya Panda, Peter Clark the writer, Shamina, 
Pansied a badass librarian. Megna Su at Restricted Section. And last but not least, Lauren from Burnt Fiction. So that was all. I do hope everyone has a nice Sunday. And until next time, how about?